Dick, I really need to get in there. I'm sorry, I need to be handsome tonight. And I mean Sears catalog handsome. <laughs> Now, if he wants to get somewhere with her, he should follow my lead. Mr. Randall and I have a dreamy relationship. Oh, yeah, you don't even call him by his first name. That's what sophisticated people do on this planet. <laughs> I realize it's not as romantic as you in August, meeting in the lunchroom and sharing your pudding cup. Hey, hey, we were just voted cutest couple, so shut up. <laughs> okay, come on. You didn't have to walk me up. I know the way. I don't mind. You mentioned coffee. Hey, guys. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Randall. Randall. Well, uh, sit down, take off your shirt, choose. <laughs> Tommy, um, I need the parlor to entertain Mr. Randall, Mr. Kevin Randall. We're doing homework. Yeah, Mesopotamia. Oh, the Fertile Crescent. Would you like to see it? <laughs> Pardon? Never mind. I'll see to that coffee. Tommy, help Auntie Sally. What? Excuse us. I need the living room to be alone with Mr. Randall. Why? I think I'm falling in love with the guy. You just want the living room so you can make out. So that's history this year. Good. Good. Can I ask you a question? Sure. If I could never make coffee for you again. Not that that's gonna happen. I mean, I'm here with my pot, ready to pour. <laughs> Would you miss me? Why are you asking me this? I don't know. Call it girlish insecurity. How would you feel? Awful. Awful like somebody ripped your heart out and, and then showed it to you? Well, not showed it to me. <laughs> So what you're saying is without me, you'd be a lonely, miserable wreck for what? A week, a month, the rest of your life? The rest of my life. Oh, Mr. Randall. <laughs> you don't know how happy you've made me. Thank you. 